Hello, this is Press TV News, live from Tehran. Thanks for joining us. The U.S. government is reportedly building a vast domestic spy network to collect information on American citizens. A Washington Post investigation shows the government is using the FBI, military criminal investigators, state homeland security offices, and local police to collect intelligence. The system is by far the largest and most technologically sophisticated in U.S. history. It'll collect, store, and analyze information about thousands of American citizens, many of whom have never been accused of any wrongdoing. Rights groups say the move opens the door for all kinds of abuses that could have serious impacts on civil liberties. Earlier this month, reports unveiled warrantless government spying with real-time tracking of every Tay transactions by Americans. The so-called hot watch process can be used to spy on cell phones, credit card use, and flight ticket purchases. Mark Dankoff is a former U.S. Senate candidate. He uh, joins me live from uh, San Antonio. Thanks very much for being with us. Is America turning into a police state with this new revelation? I think the, the answer is that we're already there. Uh, this past November the 9th, uh, Barack Obama's assistant uh, uh, Justice Department secretary was arguing in federal court that the President of the United States, in his role as Commander-in-Chief, has the authority to order the extrajudicial killing of Americans merely under the uh, s pretext of the suspicion, the suspicion of being quote-unquote involved with terrorist organizations. This is completely aside from legal defense, from court trials, court warrants, or anything of the kind. So I think we're already there. Let's always talk about paranoia as well. Don't you think that the U.S. government is paranoid that it's going to be attacked any moment and it comes up with all these new plans, tapping into people's phone conversations, their emails, and everything else? Well, that's exactly right, and I think it's important for your viewers to understand that this doesn't simply pertain to Arab and Iranian Americans and Americans who have an Islamic background. I found out a couple of years ago through something called the Missouri Information Analysis Center report, report the MIAC report, that uh, supporters of Congressman Ron Paul's run for the presidency and members of the Constitution and Libertarian parties in this country, which includes me, by the way, uh, were being profiled as terrorists. Uh, or potential terrorists, or those who were inciting terrorism because we oppose these globalist trade treaties, we oppose the New World Order, we're pro-life in the abortion question, we uh, oppose uh, homosexual marriage legalization, uh, we go to church, and we belong to gun rights groups. And according to uh, the federal government's homeland security people who put out this profile for all the state uh, law enforcement agencies, including Missouri, we're just dangerous people. The Washington uh, Post report says that, uh, well, importing techniques applied in Iraq and Afghanistan uh, will be, uh, well, used to spy on Americans. Does that mean, you think, that harsh methods may also be used against Americans? Well, presumably so, and I think what's important is what the Washington Post didn't say that in terms of the federal agencies that are putting together these police state tactics, they're working hand-in-hand -hand with Israeli intelligence and hand-in-hand -hand with the Anti-Defamation League of B'nai B'rith here in the United States, which for all practical intents and purposes is the domestic intelligence uh, wing in this country of the Israeli Mossad. Thanks so much to Mark Dankoff, uh, former U.S. Senate candidate, speaking with us from San Antonio.